Michel Basquiat's painting, Irony of a Negro Policeman. Mm -hmm. And it's, this is not alfalfa. Oh, I love alfalfa. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, I, the, the Border Patrol agent, I, if, if I was a director, I would have cast um, Mario Moreno Cantinflas in the role of, of the Border Patrol agent. But I based the painting on that as well as on Lalok, out of Earth and Water. And then I put a little coyote right down here. And if you look, this is actually the map of of uh, the border of Arizona and Mexico. Oh, yeah. This is a, the, one of, this is one of the, the the pathways that a lot of uh, immigrants use now to cross over. It's one of the most dangerous ones you could possibly do because of the temperatures that uh, that are uh, how hot it gets out there. You know, 135. I use a lot of the same marks. This is the same size as the Basquiat painting. You copied a lot of the same marks that irony. And I thought it was funny to have irony <laughs> uh, cut out from the goya beans right up there. <laughs> Uh, materials that I used, I used uh, acrylic paint, uh, oil stick, and Mexican piss. Since this was about marking one's territory, I did I did do that. I marked my territory. This just belongs to me. And, uh, These are actually all like flamed up joints. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these works of art should be screaming and full of pain and anguish. If you go to the American Museum in the Museum of Fine Arts, you know, it's not telling you the full story. And um, it's re really one of the things that I think as, uh, as artists today, we should really reflect truly uh, as much as we can the things that are transpiring in our world constantly. You know? and I would love to have seen paintings created by uh, a slave and what they were thinking and going through, you know? 